First of all, I would like to thank all of the stakeholders, Commission on Children, Margie, um, Has Margie Haskin Gillis from, uh, sorry, Margie Gillis from Literacy How, Dr. Cohen from NEAG, and all of the principals, teachers, coaches, interventionists, thank you very, very much. We can sit and hark and write all the policy in the world, but you're the ones that have to implement it. And I want to, I'm sorry, and I forgot the uh, State Department of Education because we couldn't do it without them as well. So I want to start off by saying thank you very much. And I told Mr. Uh, Lopes that he is my hero, and I'm going to tell you why. He was one of the first principal schools to participate in the, the wireless in initiative. And he went out and purchased laptops with iPads. I, well, Laptop for all of his teachers. He didn't blink twice because he saw what an advantage and benefit that this initiative was to his school. So thank you very, very much for, for helping us with our dream. I sat here and I made a list of terms and phrases and I have to, I want you to hear them and I want the audience to hear, hear them. Greater learning gains. Growth gain of 10 percent, uh, 10 percentile points. Short-term intervention, short-term impact. Intense early intervention. Building teacher knowledge in classroom. Constant reading assessment. Sustainability. Powerful program. Significant growth. Time saved. Instantaneous data. Priceless. Receive data quickly. Provide data for, to parents about student struggle. Added benefit in PPT and parent conferences. Increased performance in CMT. Increased parent engagement. Phenomenal. Transforming. Voice of the children. Make informed instructional decisions. Enthusiasm towards reading. Tools to be successful. Boast confidence and self-esteem. Consistent instruction. These are positive, positive effects, or I should say words that came out of the presenter's mouths of the positive impact and effect that these two initiatives in 10, how many schools do we have? 20? 20 schools have had. Imagine the impact it would have statewide in all of our schools. So my question to the audience is this. Wouldn't we like to see this in all of the schools? Wouldn't we like every student to be excited about sounding out a huge word? Wouldn't we like to hear all first graders use the word individual? Wouldn't we like every mother parent come in to say, I couldn't get my kid to go down to school, down, go to school. He would run down the hall saying, I don't know. He's now excited about going to school. And it's not only for the student, but it's for us. Because we're not going to live forever. And we need them to support us. And I say this all the time. We as an adults invest in our investment for retirement. Where our children is our investment for our retirement. So thank you all for being here today.